Hello everyone, welcome back again to Anha channel. If you don't know, my name is Enes, I'm working for you. So if you have any questions or any video requests, make sure to drop them below in the comment or check out my Instagram right here below me. I do reply to each comment. If you are wondering again why is that, because simply I'm working for you. And in this video, I will show you how to set or how to show different banner pictures from both desktop and the mobile on your Shopify store. And this is actually one of the most requested videos on my channel. And there is a lot of reasons why you might want to set different pictures for the mobile and desktop on the banner, of course. First of all, is the size or the resolution of the picture. So the pictures will look really perfect on the mobile screen and some other pictures will look perfectly on the desktop. That's basically based on the size of the picture or the ratio of the picture. So by setting a different picture for the desktop and for the mobile on the Shopify banner, that will make the design on the Shopify store really professional. And that's just the, the first reason. The second reason is if you want to set a link to the banner picture. And yes, you can actually do that. If you are interested in how to make the pictures on the banner clickable, so that easily the customer can click on it and take them to a discount page or, or whatever the case is, just check out my channel. I already made that video. And you can easily set a link to the picture banner and it would be clickable, obviously. But as I said, for this video, I will show you how to set a different pictures and I mean completely different pictures and one which will be only displayed for the mobile devices and the other one would only be displayed for the desktop devices and you don't have to do anything tricky at all it's automatically triggered wherever the customers he switched to the mobile it will display the other picture and I will show you that actually live in this video you will see once I switch to the mobile it will automatically I don't have even to reload the page it will automatically switch between the picture, the first picture for the desktop to the second picture, which is set for the mobile. And again, this trick will work for every Shopify team and the code will always be available below in the description box and for free. You don't have to pay for it. The only thing I'm asking for is just a like, please. Just like the banner says here. For the sake of this emoji right here, just a like, please. I would really appreciate that and it would motivate me actually to make more videos for you guys. And without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, by the way, this is the Shopify store that I do all the tutorials on. And everything you see in this uh, channel or this uh, Shopify store, sorry, I did them in tutorials, including the video banner right here, as you can see, as well as the transparent header and the video banner is playing underneath the header which is really awesome as you can see it looks really professional as well as the hover effect on the menu as you can see and even changing the color for the drop down menu in here as well as uh, removing the underlines from the menu once you hover over them it will show an underline for the menu I did show how to remove that and even removing the cart icon from here or the search icon from here all the small things that you cannot do from the team customizer I did make that videos about them and you will not find them anywhere else on YouTube and it's all for free as I said the only thing I'm asking for just a like please I would really appreciate that but let's just quit talking and let's jump to it and show you how to set different pictures for both the mobile as well as the desktop and again they will be uh, switch it automatically you don't have even to reload the page in order to be switched you will see that in this video once i switch to the mobile it will automatically uh, set a different picture that is set it to and again without any more talking let's just jump to it as you can see this is a video banner so obviously i will not do demonstration on this because this does not have a picture it has a video so what i'm going to do right now is close this right here then access the online store from here then i'm going to access the Shopify store the down team right here. This is actually down team the Shopify store that I show you is actually down team However, it has as I said the video banner so that would not be suited for demonstration I would use a different down team as well and that will and that will have the pictures on the banner And this is the one right here So let's just click on the three dots here and let's just click on preview to check out the Shopify store and here you go as you can see this is the Shopify store the down team once you install a new fresh team and you set the pictures for the banner this is what it looks like if you did set two pictures as you can see and by the way this is the same exact store that I did start doing videos on and this is how it looks like now let me uh, show you that again here is check out the difference now it's pretty huge as you can see and you cannot believe this is the exact same team which is down team and this trick that I will show you in this video it works for every team I did test them on the refresh team as well as sense team so let's just close this right here because we don't need it as i said the next thing i'm going to do is access the code editor for the team right here because we need to implement a new future or a new trick that does not exist on the team customizer because as i said the team customizer will not let you do this so let's just click on the three dots for the team right here 
Then after that, let's just click on edit code. Next thing we're going to do is we need to find the CSS file in assets folder right here. But instead of clicking on the assets folder, it will show us bunch in here and we need to keep looking for it. And there is a lot of CSS files. Just use the search bar right here instead on the top of the screen. Simply click on it and type in section dash image and it will show you this file right here, which is section dash image dash banner dot CSS. So make sure to find this file right here and you can use the search bar. That's pretty easy. After that, simply click on it and it will show you a lot of CSS code. And again, you don't have to edit any code or anything like that. I will provide you with a really short code that will do a trick for us. And after that, the next thing you're going to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom of the file right here. Make sure you do access a new line, nothing on it right here. Then after that, as always, scroll down the description box and you will see a link named it as code. Simply click on it and it will take you to this page right here. And you, again, you don't have to pay for it or anything like that. It's completely free. And here rest this little code right here would do the trick for us. And this code is uh, 20 lines to be exact. So 20 lines is not that big as well. And next thing you're going to do is obviously select the whole code in here and make sure to select even the last bracket in here. That's really important. Otherwise it will not work as well as the first dot in here. If you did the miss the first dot that you did like this, it will not work. So I repeat, make sure to select the whole code in here. So let me do that again. And after that, right click and copy and after that we need to get back to the code editor and we need to paste it at the bottom of the page that's sad that's why I said we need to access the bottom of the file so simply paste it in here then click on the save button right here and after the changes will save it we need to get back to the team customizer and I will show you how to set a different picture for the mobile and desktop and by the way this is how it looks like right now as you can see so let's just close the code editor right here and after that, just click on the customize button right here to customize the team. And after that, simply click on the banner right here. It will show us the settings for the banner, as you can see. And right now we have, again, these two pictures right here. So the first one, which is this one right here that we set it to is actually for the desktop. So I repeat, the first image says the first image here. This one is only for the desktop. And the second image, the second image in here, is only for the mobile so let me actually change the picture right here so you can see the changes actually so let's just click on change right here select from library and let's just go for this one which is pretty simple let's just pick this picture and here we go so this is this picture right here at the top is the picture for the desktop and this picture at the bottom right here is the picture for the mobile so let's just click on save right here and after the save is with changes let's get back to the preview for the Shopify team right here and let's just reload the page to make sure the changes will take effect so let's just reload the page oops it did take us back to the previous one i apologize let's just click on the three dots right here and let's just preview the shopify scene and here we go so this is the picture as i said for the desktop as you can see and if i did right click and click on inspect to switch back to the mobile check out what it does it automatically set back to the picture that it set it to which is this one right here as you can see and if I click, uh, close this window right here to get back to the desktop mode, it will show the previous picture, which is the one I did set for the desktop, as you can see. So that's pretty simple, right? Let me do that again so you can see. Once I click on inspect, switch back to mobile, I did pick here uh, Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And as you can see, it did set the picture to the second one, which is the one for the mobile. And if I close this, it will switch back to the picture for the desktop. And as I said, the first picture is for the desktop and the second picture is for the mobile. And that's how you set different banner pictures for both desktop and the mobile on your Shopify store. And again, if you have any video requests or any questions, drop me a comment below. I will be happy to help you out. Otherwise, I think my job is done for this video. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.